leaders here at uh, Wyong Townsville, I decided many, many years ago I wanted to count. And you know, many people want their lives to count and not just be another number. We have the opportunity to participate in all these different communities from Australia to Papua New Guinea, right around our whole region. We have phenomenal opportunities and we're going to take them. Just done so many things that I just never thought I would like ever dream of doing. Wildlands really just given me the platform to be able to do that. Everyone who's in it, they're just to totally willing to serve in just whatever capacity that is, whatever area or ministry they're in. I just love it how they're just so um, just open to really put themselves out there and say like, yeah, here we are, how can we help in whatever capacity that is. It was definitely an eye opener for me. It's not about me, it's what I can do for other people. It targets uh, the kids that would be on the outskirts, the, the people that are um, not often seen. Um, include them and love them and it brings something that is missing in youth today. It was really amazing to just get the chance to go into high schools and just openly share about topics such as self-esteem and anti-bullying and to be able to encourage them to live life to the fullest that they can. Being able to transform their lives from point A to point B. It's something that just makes me want to do it more and more. It brings me life to be able to input in these students' lives. I come from Papua New Guinea, and Papua New Guinea is a beautiful, unique nation uh, with a population of seven million people and over 800 languages. And most of these people, they live in small, isolated areas, uh, which is extremely hard to reach. The remoteness of these places is staggering. We drove the ship all along the Gulf province and all the way to Weston and just the whole way I, I never saw a single road, I never saw any cars, you know the only types of transportation I saw were some canoes. What really hit me the most is when we went up the Gamu River and this village, they had clinic books but they were empty with no shots, nothing and occasionally there would be one where YWAM had seen it. When we do clinics, we have lines out the door of over 100 people every single time, and it gets really overwhelming. How are we gonna see all these people? How can we help? Then you have one person in front of you, just one at a time, and you get to just talk to them and say, hey, how are you doing? Like, what can I do for you? To get to be a little bit of love for somebody, if you take that one second to just be, to be intentional and to be there, how it really, it changes your entire day and it can change their entire life. It wasn't just an experience, it was a part of a bigger vision um, that YWAM Townsville has been a part of in Papua New Guinea, and I got to catch the heart of that vision and bringing life and life to the full. Who are we? You know, a bunch of young people, um, but what we're really doing is going out to those places that need help the most um, and saying, you know, that we're willing and we um, are open to really do what we feel like God's called us to do. You don't need to be uh, specifically trained and you can come in and, uh, and volunteer uh, either short term or long term and uh, enter into that community. For those who love missions and uh, for getting their hands dirty every now and then, uh, a bit muddy, uh, yeah, it's just such a, an adventure. I love the fact that we've got this campus right in the heart of the city all these young people, but we also have a ship. But together, as we work as these twins, the campus and the ship, and understand what we're actually doing, um, combine that with your training, my goodness, what an opportunity. Don't miss it.